I crossed the entire country on foot. Yep, I flew 5,827 miles to the country of Liechtenstein, and with the help of Google Maps and GPS technology, I carved a path from one end of the country to the other. The only catch was, though, I had to walk in a perfectly straight line, and that meant I had to go over, under, or cross whatever lay in front of my dangerous path. Do or die time, boys. Do or die. So I'm going to have to be somewhat prepared to all out swim. All right. Oh, oh. so good. Oh, 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 my God. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh my God. I can't feel my legs. I can't feel my arms. Oh my God. I can't believe I just crossed that. Oh my God. I need to get up out of this little embankment right here and uh, dry off. This is brutal. The straight line tells me to go this way. That water was absolutely freezing. Wow. I thought that would be a little bit easier. I can't feel my left hand holding this GoPro. Oh, I don't know if I can do that again. My legs can't feel anything. I'm just plowing through. Thank God I made it out of the ravine and survived to tell the tale. Take this off. Let's we'll shake off my jacket. Dry it off a bit. Oh my God. Time for a big jump here. I'm gonna go ninja mode right now. You ready for this? Ugh. That's right, little canal. I am king. Okay, thank God we got a road. I'm out of this water. I'm feeling good. The straight line has me cutting across all the way through this patch of farmland and then right through my hotel area, actually. These big chunks of frozen dirt early in the morning. Is this farmland in progress or is this actively growing corn? I don't know. And the line has me going through this parking garage here. Barely feel my fingers right now. Hypothermia is real, that's what I've learned. I made it through the manure lake. The straight line has me going directly through my hotel. Oh my God. Uh, cheese, uh, bacon? Uh, bacon. Uh, ham? What's ham? Uh, bacon will do, that's good. Uh, okay. Thank you, thank you. I'm a lucky man. Within the next five, 10 minutes or so, we should be plowing straight through a city. This is not my preferred path per se, but I need to go straight through this little construction zone. Okay. Oh, boy. Not too bad. Okay. Oh, boy. It doesn't look like. Oh, my God. Luckily, I got that on camera. I totally did not just slip into the river. I need to plow through this residential area now, though. I'm a bit scuffed up. Now I'm starting to get into people's homes and whatnot. So, let's make it quick. After dipping myself in all of the rivers, I was now tasked with stomping through modernity, a peaceful village full of retired Lichtensteinian bankers living in million dollar cubes. This is one of the wealthiest countries per capita in the world. In fact, it might be the wealthiest country. Everyone has trampolines out here. Oi! Ugh. Back in the day, the Rhine River was one of the most polluted rivers in the world, apparently. Looks pretty clean. Anyways, I gotta get out of here. After stomping through everyone's backyard, I soon found myself in a quagmire, obligated by the line to crawl under a city of rust. Well, the line has me going under this and through that. Okay. Hopefully I have my tetanus shot. This is bad news if I get cut. Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. Following my escape from the city of Rust, I soon encountered my first native NPC. Oi. Hi, how are you? I'm walking across the country in a straight line. Straight line, wish me luck. I need to go directly, go through here. Oh boy. What am I? Assassin's Creed <laughs> Really does hit me with a pang of guilt every time I have to go through someone's yard, but run over the fence Okay oh, man. Call me Super Mario Bros with all the jumping I'm doing out here Hate to go through a lawn Luckily, this is padded out perfectly for me Oh my goodness. She just shimmy over this rock path right here. I need to get through this area right here. 
Oh man, it's quite the maneuver. All right, the path has me going through this super steep inclined forest area now. And this is where I'm getting a little bit worried when it comes to bears and other natural sort of predators. But look at this, I'm like right in front of a park right now. So now I have to go all the way up that giant forest. That's when I think things will start to get a little dangerous perhaps, a little bit worrisome on my end. After escaping the small village in one piece, I was now tasked with entering the forest of death. I don't know what this is. It's a bit Dark Souls-esque in nature. Hopefully if someone doesn't come around behind me, pop me on the head. Dark Souls boss, so it's best I get out of here quickly. Oh my God. We're gonna go around slightly. Bear crawl my way up here. It's so steep. Look at how steep this is. I can barely breathe. The altitude's got me in terms of lung capacity, that's for sure. If I fall down, I'm a goner. I was feeling a bit dehydrated and I looked behind me and I saw this view. So I figured this would be the time, if any, Surprisingly, everyone behind me in those beautiful million dollar homes either just didn't care that I walked through their homes or didn't realize what was happening or were too peaceful to, to confront me about it. This view right now is beautiful. This water is delicious. And with that being said, I need to penetrate this deciduous forest, go all the way through. And I'm a bit worried about running into some black or brown bears, but before I go through this forest, I need to take a quick whiz. Oh my God. Without a doubt, one of the eeriest sounds of all time. I'm out of here, man. I'm out. All right, folks. My trek through this forest begins. If I encounter a bear, a coyote, any predator of any kind, I'm making a run for it as fast as I can. I'm gonna leave the bag behind and just run with the camera. Intent on escaping a lingering mini boss that may or may not pop up right behind me, I soon descended deeper into the dark deciduous forest and of course, a new danger presented itself. I'm just waiting to see a black bear at this point. Bears, that's right, grizzly bears. Native to this region, they were my greatest natural predator, possessing the strength of five men. If one caught me, I would be dead before I knew it. What is above me? Okay, looks like I'm in some sort of farmland. I need to make it quick. If any angry farmers are out here, that'll be scary. Okay, I just jumped through a pile of manure. Rather unsettling, I must admit. Hopefully I don't run into any territorial farmers or anything of those likes, and I should be fine. If you've ever read Frankenstein, you'll know. A good old Victor Frankenstein goes out into the Swiss Alps and then his own creation kills his wife on the day of their marriage. That's how I feel right about now, trudging through these Alps, and I'm nervous. We're going into the heart of this forest here very soon, and seriously, if I run into a bear, I'm probably dead. I'm about to go into the depths of this forest right here. On a side note, that view is delicious. I'm walking perfectly straight. I'm trusting the process, even though there is no real process. All right, we're doing it. We're going into the deep, dark forest. This says 1.5, don't know what that means. <sighs> Heard something, Heard something. Jesus. To be truthful, feels like I'm playing real life first person Legend of Zelda right now. As I felt the trepidation only known by those who have experienced true isolation from society, paranoia soon overcame my frail mental state and I saw a sight that visually disturbed me. Oh boy, big jump here. Uh. Come on. I'm not sure what this path is exactly. This sort of ominous tree stack to my right and tree stack to my left. I don't know if it's indicative of some sort of technological civilization. This means there's a developed society near me. Oh my God. I thought I heard a bear. And then of course, with my luck, this happened. Just kidding, I added that part in. But rather, I had successfully escaped the forest of death and now plotted onward toward a vestige of civilization. Humans. Oi, I'm walking across the country. Yes. From point A to point B, yes sir. Okay. Wish me luck, Good. thank you, goodbye. Good luck. Thank you. You gotta love people, I tell you. You gotta love people. That man's good luck pumped me up for the next three hours. Let's go. I feel like I'm playing Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild right now. There's a nice little cottage to my left. I'm perfectly going in a straight line right about now. This path is about to get real shady real quick. I'm gonna have to go over those mountains. <laughs> okay. Okay, you got this, Tyler. Okay, you got this. You've gone this far. Oi! Oi! They probably think I'm from Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. But uh, I tried to oi them down, they weren't having it. This would be the place where I run into a bear, if any. I find it difficult to believe in 2020, there are that many bears running around here. 
My feet are definitely getting chilly. Covered in snow right about now. Do not like the look of this forest at all whatsoever. I cannot see, it's dark, devoid of sunlight, devoid of sufficient human interaction. And it does make me wonder why there's a gate right here. Is that to keep out a bear, perhaps? Let's just be quiet, stealthy, agile. I'm gonna go beast mode right now and just pile drive straight through this forest. Let's see if my balls are as big as my ambitions, folks. The thing I dislike about this situation is that if something happens out here and I do get hurt or a bear does claw me in the face, worst case, then no one's gonna hear it. Oh my God. Thought that was a bear claw. Grab a stick just in case. If I find a bear, I'm definitely gonna fight one with this. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Yes, 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 yes. Oh my God, thank God, thank God. Greenery, once I get out of here, I'm in the clear. I'm in the clear out of this rotted forest. No bears, no bears, come on, come on. Spare me, spare me, spare me. I'm making a run for it. This is the part in the scary movies where the girl falls, the guy goes back to get him, and they both eat and die. Not today, folks, not today. Oh, thank God. Achievement unlocked, achievement unlocked. I survived. I survived, thank God, yes! Woohoo! <laughs> yes! I escaped that dark, somber forest. I can barely breathe right now because I'm tired, the altitude, a little bit of hypothermia maybe in my feet, and I'm just afraid of what could go wrong out here. To give you some perspective, there is nothing, no one, except maybe a bear. My balls right about now are beyond chafed. <sighs> nice little gully right under here. The straight path, of course, has me going under the bridge, not over it. That's just luck. Oh, so muddy. Good God. <laughs> that is a path. I'm out of the boonies and into the farmland. And while I'd found my beautiful sunshine, I soon found myself in another predicament. Stuck thick in betwixt the vineyard drenched in difficulty. Bit of a dodgy maneuver, not gonna lie. I see a farmer over there, potentially just a walker, a casual walker. Who knows if he actually owns the land, but we need to start cruising through this farm, so. This should be our first real kind of interaction with a potentially angry, maybe even dangerous farmer. Let's go. We're at a bit of a crossroads. This straight line has me going directly through this farmland here, so I'm gonna be doing some crouching. You got this, Tyler, let's go. Yeah, this is bad. I need to get through fast. We're about 50% of the way. Looks like I'm about through. I'm walking across the entire country from point A to point B. Ah, <laughs> cheers. Oh wow, so have fun. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Goodbye. After I stomped through another rural village, I was soon punished by the karmic balance of the universe for my collective insolence. Uh. Oh my god. Oh my god. I had finally made it to my first city. Across the street here. Hello. Vaduz? That way? That way? Yeah, okay. Ah, thank you, thank you. For this? Okay, I'm walking. Yeah. Walking. Yeah. Possible? Yes. All right, cheers. Ciao. After a small taste of the city life, I was thrown right back into the center of wilderness. I feel extremely isolated right about now. I don't see many people, but I do see two people walking right in front of me. All mud path. All right. Oi, question for you. I'm walking through the mountains. Uh, are there bears? Uh -huh. Are there bears in those mountains? Those are dudes, yeah, those. but it's not the right way. You have to go straight there. Straight that way? Yeah. Over yeah. the mountains? Yeah, the next, the, the next village is Shan and then is Fadut. Over the... Oh, I don't know. Dangerous? No, I, I don't know, but Thank okay. You. Ciao. Ciao. Huh, all right. And I think she's right. I hate to say it, but this is looking a bit dastardly. Okie dokie. Time to clean my shoes. There she is. Well. Let's go for it. At least this isn't particularly slippery, which actually feels quite good. Little ALS ice bucket challenge going on here. I guess this is some sort of canal. I don't know. Anyways, I'm pretty immune to the water at this point, and now my shoes are clean. Oi! I'm trying to go to Vaduz. Where are you going to go to Vaduz? Vaduz, yes. Oh, and you want to walk? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> go straight and the next. On the right, and always straight. Okay. Yeah. Uh, bears, bears in the mountains. Uh, uh, like, ah. Ah, ah, this is in the mountains, yes? Bear, thank Welcome, you. bye. Ciao, bye. Such nice people, I tell you. For the collective amount of trespassing I've committed, these people are exceptionally nice to me, and that is something I am forever grateful for. All right, let's cross the lake. Oh, oh boy. 
Oh my god. Did not expect that right there. Ah. Uh, oh yeah, I'm walking across the country in a straight line. So luckily for me, this line goes straight on the periphery of this little horse encapturement right here. Oi. This thing's about to rage quit. Ciao. These horses behind me are fuming in anger. This line though is getting a little goofy. Has me going through this farmland area right here and then through that mountain embankment. Right behind me, you'll see some tractor paths. You know what tractor paths mean. My path has me going directly across this farm. I definitely just made eye contact with a farmer and his tractor. I'm running for it. Homie is definitely tailing me. Oh my God, little swamp land. Okay, I seem to have sidestepped the potential danger that was the farmer to my left. Time to make some progress. Looks like my only way of peacemaking is talking to this guy. Hopefully he'll be chill with me. So let's see what happens here. Oi, Vaduz, that way? Yeah. Easy as that to make peace in this country. Looks like I might have to cross some train tracks soon enough though. You'll see in one second. Train almost nailed it. Jesus Christ, I'm running for it. Oh my God. <laughs> that was scary. The straight line has me going directly through this fence. If it's electric, then I get knocked out, I suppose, and I fall and crack my skull open on one of these rocks. Please don't be an electric fence. Please don't be an electric fence. This is an electric fence. I'm good as dead. Okay. Not bad for a suburban scumbag like myself. Okay, we're gonna go. Okay. Speaking of which. Straight out of Death Valley today, folks. And after pile driving through several construction sites, it looked like I had finally reached the half point of my adventure. I'm almost halfway through this entire country. <laughs> Another forest I have to cross through here. Okay, so this lady somehow got through the forest. Beat tour and tour immerse listen. Beats me. All I know is I have to go through this line here, so. And for the record, when we edit this and it says there are big giant bears that will kill you, I didn't know. If it's less than safe, I'm running for it. All right, folks, the line is dictated that I have to go directly over this. Oh, I literally just got electrocuted. I got electrocuted just now. There's no way. Oh, okay. Yep, definitely electric. That is an electric fence. I just got shocked. I could probably just weasel my way around it. Slowly. Okie dokie, I made it across the first electric fence. Three, two, one, I'm just gonna jump. Okay. I've conquered the unconquerable. I made it through the electric fence. After getting punished via electricity, I was soon nearing my final destination. Okay. Thank you. This? Okay, thank you. I'm trying to avoid any and all human interaction when it comes to me running through a lawn. All right, I'm nearing the capital of Vaduz, but uh, right there, it looks like a nice little castle. If I'm not mistaken, this is where the prince lives. Shimmy right over. And we're in the clear. <sighs> a bit steep for my liking. Okay. Right behind me, I can hear the Rhine River. This incline is remarkably steep. Let's get this over with. Ah, ha, ha. I survived. Dang. Okay, this is not the Rhine River. I thought this was the Rhine River. <laughs> oh, I was being foolish. I was about to cruise through this entire thing because I thought it was the Rhine. And then I realized it's barely even on my path. It's not that deep, not very polluted. Okay, it's actually kind of deep. Getting a little nervous. My feet are sinking deep into the marshes that is. I can definitely do the Rhine. That did not feel good at all. All right, we made it to the only university in this entire country from my understanding. University of Liechtenstein. This is probably one of the most cheery yet despairing places I've been to and that I just feel alone and sad out here. Border. Yes, right over there. You take bus from the other side. What if I want to walk across mountains? Well, you want to go to Switzerland. Ah, uh, yeah, Switzerland. Go straight. Yes, one circle. You can take right and then go straight. All right, love you. Ciao. Okay, okay. Ouch, that hurt. All right, I've approached a swiftly moving body of water here. A potent smell of manure emanating from this body of water. Almost there, almost there. Ah, oh, I did it. I am the man right now, not gonna lie. As I continued to trudge through jagged mountainsides and frozen creeks, I eventually made my way to the most fearsome river in Liechtenstein. Oi, Rhine River? Yeah, here. Oh, here. Ciao. I'm about to get right up in front with the Rhine River. This is the moment of destiny to see if I am uh, a true survivor. Looks pretty deep to me. Could I make the swim? I do not know anymore. Initially, I said this was instant death if I got in here. And I don't know if that's the case, but 
I don't really want to find out. Upon facing my moment of destiny and witnessing the fearsome speed and numbing temperature, I began to wonder whether any of this was even worth it. Question, is it dangerous to cross the river? There is uh, strong water and very deep. Okay, I will die? It's dangerous, yeah. Okay, all right, thank you. Will I die? Yeah. Okay, all right. No, 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 no. No? No, no it's no, very cold. It's, it's dangerous? Okay. If you hear me screaming, that's me. Everyone thinks I'm gonna die. It ain't worth the death, folks. I do not know if I could legitimately survive going across this. I'm gonna have to take the bridge instead, which is a few meters. Oh my God. All right, at this, I'm out, I'm out. Call me a loser, I don't care. I'm inside a bridge. This is the bridge of losers right here because I didn't swim across the entire river. Engulfed in the shame of my emasculation, my journey was not quite over. I'm going to have to jaywalk my balls off, ready? I refuse to let history repeat itself. I've never walked across a highway like this before because I usually value my own life. Right now I'm playing real life Frogger. In the next 20 seconds or so, I'm going for it. This is it. We're going for it. <laughs> I survived. Now we have another road. We're gonna have to time this out perfectly, I tell ya. Right here, I'm going for it, I'm going for it. That is human grit at its core, folks. After having conquered Mother Nature and the limitations of mankind itself, I had, alas, reached the border of Liechtenstein. Roughly 14 miles later, I've made it. I finally made it to the edge of the country, and I've walked more or less in a straight line across the entire country of Liechtenstein. This was one of the most brutal journeys of my life. Now I know how my grandparents feel walking to school every day. Please subscribe.